Hello everyone, this is your boy Andy GM here, and welcome back to another uh, reaction of Fire Emblem Heroes, the new heroes, that is correct. Uh, we have new heroes coming into the game, and it's special heroes, Bridal Beloves. Yes, I think this is our fourth Bridal um, uh, special hero uh, um, coming into the games. Now, i seen some pictures, and I kind of already know who they are, but nonetheless, I'm excited for it, and I am happy about it. Um, where I haven't been lately, I will either post the thing on the community tab and tell you what I've been been doing because I know I'm supposed to promise you guys I make videos. Well, then again, I didn't really promise, but I'll tell you guys what I've been through. But like, I have a girlfriend now, so I'm making a lot of a lot of like sacrifices and such. But nonetheless, I'm here to make the video and I'm here to react to this and I'm hoping what is there to come. Now, it, now, just because it's a special here does not mean I'm going to be summing it for it because, you know, I, I still want to get Ike. I have not been active in the game for a whole week, so I've been missing out on a lot of content. So, But nonetheless, let's get started on this. Alright, here we go. In sickness and in health. Oh, 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 who's that? Wait! Bless Queen? Nyla? We mustn't idle. Bring my groom with haste. Yo, she looks beautiful in that. And a bright... A br okay. This was never a thing in Radiant Dawn. Just letting you guys know, okay? It's just, you know, fan service and such. But she's a great... She's a green infantry... Wait, do we have green infantry beast? I don't think so. Is this, is this our first one? Because I know we have green cavalry. That's the thing. But do we have green infantry? Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, she 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 still, she still she still comes with the glare. Okay, what is this one? Bride's Fang. Okay, accelerate special cooldown. All right, that's already good as it is. At the start of combat, if foe's HP is above seventy five percent, inflicts attack speed and defense minus five on foe during combat, and if special triggers and if special triggers before or during combat, and unit attacks, grant special cooldown charge. What? Wait, what? Wait, hang on. And if unit attacked... Wait, no, no, no. On foe during combat. And if special triggers before or during combat and unit attacked... It... Oh, it's like a quick impulse effect if your special triggers even before or during combat. Oh, that's actually really good. That's, that's, a, that's amazing. Wow, okay, cool. And, you know, we got the standard beast effect, you know, with the wood owl thing. So that makes it even more deadlier. Wow. Okay, she comes with Moombo again. You know, every hero basically has Moombo at this point. So it's no no surprise. So spell three, okay, cool. And we got chill, speed, and defense too. At the start of turn, inflicts speed uh, slash defense minus five on foe on the enemy team with the highest speed plus defense uh, total through there. It's next action. Okay, it's fine. It, it's whatever, I mean... Those type of chill skills, it's it's um, it's all uh, it, it it all depends on the on the player's preference and such, and you know, and and just like a whole debate whenever or not these chills are good or like the single chills are good because that's minus five. If it was minus seven, it'd be different. That'd be a total power creep on the others. But is is it, the fact that it's minus five is not going to do that much. You're missing on two sets, like two sets are uh, 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 deduction is actually very important. And you know, with the glare, with the movement restriction, but. Overall, this she looks actually pretty good. Wow! Remember your vows. Yo, okay, okay, her beast actually looks good. Fierce bride to be yo, yo, overall. I'm a boro of Hoshido. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Yo, I don't remember this. I mean, yeah, she wears a, kom a komodo, that's how you spell it, but damn, and she's a sword infantry, okay. I'm pretty sure this is going to be that type of sword infantry where she's going to be somewhat slow, but like have very good defenses, like a defensive one, I I'm, I'm guessing. Okay, that's a weapon that I'm interested in. What is that? Okay, uh, Pledge Blade Plus. If bonus on active is on unit, grants attack slash defense plus four and special cooldown charge uh, plus one unfold during. Wait. Oh. <gasps> really? So, 
it's like it's like those uh it's like those bonus effects from the from like last year's summer summer banner i think i think it was last year's summer banner i think so yeah or was it two years ago i don't remember well either one it was like it was those banners so but if you do it on this one not only gives you attack and defense plus four during the combat but you have a guard effect that hits them with the two that's actually pretty good i'm not gonna lie I mean, you have to, you need to have the stats, but I mean, like with this type of weapon on Ike, oh, that's easy. That's that's easy to trigger because my base, because my base team is based around like on effects and such. And since I have bonus doubler, that makes it even more better. But, but yeah, it's 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 actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, if I get on the first try, that's that that that's a that's a that's a good one to me. Uh, rally attack uh, res plus. Okay, cool. Attack slash defense form three. All right, an odd pulse tie three. At the start of odd number turns, if any foe's HP is plus on a greater than units HP and that foe's special is ready, inflict special cooldown count plus two on foe with the lowest HP among those foes. Okay, so th basically this is the this is the pulse this is the pulse for uh this is the this is like the even even variation of odd for pulse uh teams you know for for you know for infantry's only, which is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, which is not gonna which is actually pretty good. But uh, oh, I, I actually like that blade. If if I could get that blade on my own, but nah, I don't think that's gonna happen. But pretty good so far, yeah. <laughs> oh, she doesn't come with a special. Okay. Blessed wings. Who's this? Have you seen my bride? She must Raphael. be very beautiful. Raphael, what? Raphael. Well, oh, that's how you say it. No, that's not how you say it. I'm pretty sure I'm saying the name wrong. Wait, he's done in the game? Oh my god. That's right. That's right. Wait, blue infantry. Let me see. Blue infantry. She's... Oh yeah, there's a reason why. Okay. So this is kind of like a spoiler thing. So, okay. So, I'm going to say it right there and then because I already know what it is. The reason why they made him an infantry unit, even though he has wings, is because his wings are broken. Like they, he cannot use it when he transforms. He cannot fly around like Lelena and uh, forgot forgot the other dude's name. But yeah, his wings is kind of like broken, so he can't really use it. So that's why they made him infantry, which is actually, which is really good. Groom's wing, okay. Might fourteen, okay. Grants res plus three at the start of at start of turn one. Grants special cooldown count minus one to. To unit support. That's huge. That is immensely huge. You know why it's huge? Because if it's a supported partner, literally, you can literally run any weapon that isn't a slaying. And that makes it very good. Wait. Yeah, it started turn one. It's only started turn one, but that makes it huge. If it was every other turn, that'd be broken. That'd be honestly broken. Um. Yeah, it's huge. You don't have to run a slaying weapon. You can literally run any weapon that that whoever you're support a support partner with. So you can get that four turn count, four turn cooldown unless you want another slaying and upon another slaying upon blah blah blah. Like unless uh, unless you want to start with um, you know, with the AOE specials. That's different. But I believe this is only on player phase. If it's enemy phase, I, I don't think it would work. But not bad. Uh, not bad at all. Sing, okay. Firestorm Dance 2 and War Beast. Alright, all right, pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. Yep, there we go. Don's wins duo. Yo, they look so beautiful. So beautiful. You're very dapper, South. Colorless Tome Flyer Makaya has every variation of color blue, red, green, and colorless. That is nuts. The thing is that Salt doesn't even have an ult. I mean, it's an ult with her, but still. That's. That is so, like, I love that artwork. That's so beautiful. Be safe. Wh oh my god. Okay, we gotta, we gotta talk about that. Okay. 
Joyful Vows. Okay. Affected against armor and cavalry falls, obviously. Grants attack plus three, so there's a 17 might weapon. If bonus is on is active on unit, grants attack plus no attack slash res plus six during combat. And if unit initiates combat, foe cannot make a fall. Oh my god. So basically, if you if you get a So if you if you already have already an attack buff on her, plus with that. That's 13. Plus with the push skill? Plus with the push skill? No, no, okay, okay. So we're gonna go with the regular six. I'm not doing seven. So if it's six on six during combat, that's 12 attack. Plus with the push skill? That's 19. If you try to do an attack that's like plus seven, that is literally, it's either 19 or 20 attack during the combat that she'll have. That is immensely powerful. That is so, I mean, she comes with an old skill, so that, so like, that, that. <laughs> That's why it's there to trigger that effect. Oh my god, that's so. That's. I don't know how I feel about that now. Oh my god, that's crazy though. And she has a and she has an impact skill up, upon with it. That's 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 crazy. She comes with sacrifice because obviously it's her like signature skill. And she comes with mystic boost. We haven't had a unit on mystic boost for like I think a year and a half now. Ever since air come. This makes me want to pull for her, but I'm not gonna do it. Like I can't do it. Like I'm sorry, I can't. But she's a colorless. She doesn't. She doesn't have no weapon triangle disadvantage. Only except for like colorless, you know. Unless you're going against uh, what's his name? If she was red, that'd be that that'd be tough though. Like like she'll be. But like, oh my god, that's gonna be tough to deal with. And that's that's crazy, yo. Her her kit is already solid as it is. I don't know what else you can give her. Ah, <sighs> oh, that's cool. What does it do? Grant dominance? Wait, what? The fuck is... What? What is dominance? Grant dominance to unit and allies within three columns centered on unit. Inflicts defense. Res minus seven unfolds within three spit... Within three column center on the unit of their next actions. Unit, wait. Unit deals additional damage equal total penalties of. Wait, what? Certainly. That's her stats. With the oath skill, that's about. She has the oath on, so and it's plus five, so sixty-one attack. You minus the five. You minus the five. That is about. 56. Now you remove the tome. She has 39 attack. No way. She has 39 attack. What? 39 attack? Because if you remove the, if you remove her tome, and then just add like the other stuff, that's crazy. 39 attack. Yo, that's awesome. Actually, her res minus five. That's 38 res. Okay. Cool. All right. Not bad. Her what? No what? Okay, this is the reason why you can't run a speed variation unless you have unless you do a super boon because her speed is so low you can't do a speed a speed speed setup because they put the impact skill for a reason because her speed is trash. Take my hand. Uh, happily. Let's go together. I'm oh. right here. Wow. Is there any face you want to... Okay. I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. Where is he? Hinata is our Tempest Trial unit. An axe infantry. He's right there. Oh, he's right there as it is. Okay. So he's an infantry unit. With that same weapon. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. So he's our Tempest Trials. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Wow. Don't. Oh, they're not doing that 40 Special Summon. All right. Good, good, good. I was about to say, if they did the 40 Special, oh, my God. People would be going nuts over it. Um... What can I say? The banner looks stellar. It looks great. Amazing. You should definitely pull if you're really a fan of these characters. Like, 
If I was a more fan towards Micaiah than I could than Ike himself, then I would definitely go for Micaiah no matter what. But I'm an Ike boy, so I gotta I gotta pull him. But anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed what you saw, then please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you guys, stay tuned for the next video, you guys. It's your boy Andy GM here, and he is out of here. Later.